Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker, where we left off last time, our city fell. Uh, we are now in a zone at the camp at the capital gates. There are a lot of citizens around. Our snow's here. We do it my way. But it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of other people. Let's talk to the storyteller, perhaps. Who wants to bet that he's another eldest of something or something like that? Oh, Asili's here too. Hey, our chest is here as well. The blind old man bows to you gracefully, as if he had just stepped out of a battle moments ago. I'm glad you're alright, your highness. Alas, we are short of time. You must act quickly to save your kingdom and yourself from the world's merger. That's what we've named the catastrophe that's befallen us. There are two obstacles that may stand in your way. First, your advisors and subjects are now in various regions across the kingdom, and almost all are under attack by shadows. The power of any land lies in the brave souls that inhabit it. Save them and you will save yourself. Second, while where the world's merger is tormenting the kingdom, you will not be able to rest and restore your spells in the normal way. This seems a special gift from the Lantern King. To let you fight for your life, but to make it so that fighting leads inevitably to exhaustion and death. But I can guard you from this for a short time. Come to me if you need rest, but be careful. This takes time, and time is not on your side. I sense you have about ten days. That is as long as your kingdom can withstand the onslaught of the first world. Believe me, this is a generous amount of time considering the affliction we face. Our kingdom proved resilient enough. Cool. What forces do I have now? You can always count on my help and the help of your companions and fellow travelers. Can I get rid of the curse? The nature of curses is mysterious, your highness. I know many stories about them, with happy and unha unhappy endings. I can propose the following. To overcome a curse, you must harness it. The Lantern King would have you perish with your kingdom, and he has made this, and he has made real that imaginary bond between the land and its ruler, which poets and bars like to talk so much about. But this means that by protecting the kingdom from the world's merger, you will also protect yourself. I think this is the first thing that must be done. Well, I have to go. Time ticks away. Onwards. Oh dear. Things are looking pretty grim for us. I wonder if we, like, slowly recover parts of our kingdom if... We will... Our curse will go down a bit. Kinda nice. We do it my way. Alright, there's two portals we can go through. Let's buy some scrolls. He has... A lot of garbage. I think we sold her before. Uh, we need some scrolls of Cure Serious Wounds. We need, like, a lot of them. Why are Cure Serious Wounds less than Cure Moderate Wounds? Whatever, I'm gonna buy all 99 of them. We, we only have three... Wait, no. We only have... Our core group left. We also need some res or res or yeah, reset scrolls. Where are those? Give me like eight of those. Two. Deal. What were those things we picked up as well? So we could brace our plus nine. But didn't we get something from I guess that's it. We just got Braces of armor, amulet, not armor, and a ring of balance. Kind of a buzzkill. Oh well. Okay. So we can I raise dead our... ...person. So do we just go to each city then and try and save it from the monsters? I honestly thought we were going to be done the game when we killed Nerissa. Traveling through the kingdom that's been half swallowed by the first world is a dangerous, unpredictable affair, but our hero didn't have much choice. He had to save his lands, or at least what was left of them, as quickly as possible. 
In the final hour, when every minute counted, Jadewall decided the only chance was to try something risky and unreliable, magical portals leading through the First World. Sadly, the, vic the vicious Lantern King's curse had placed a heavy burden on our leader's shoulders, and yet, even barely standing, Jade Maul wouldn't abandon his duty. After defeating several enemies, our leader felt a surge of energy. The curse was growing weaker. If we could manage to help a few more allies out of trouble, maybe it would be possible to eliminate the curse entirely. One last step was all that prevented our leader from shaking the Lantern King's curse from his shoulders, finding and retrieving the last piece, last missing piece of the kingdom. That's what drove our hero onward. Summoning all of his courage, Jade Maul took a daring step. Oleg's trading post? Sure. We'll raise dead our person. We'll swallow a whole bunch of scrolls. We'll hope that she has some spells <laughs> hidden in her quick slot bars that we can secretly use. The Lantern King apparently did not know about. You can block access to my spellbook, but you can't block access to my quick bars. You know, I'm not gonna lie. At least we're not getting smashed to pieces by Wild Hunt anymore. I hope Oleg is okay. I kind of like that guy. Alright, let us flee. Where's my raised dead scrolls? I know I bought some. There we go. Aw oh, yeah, back to life. I know you're not super useful, but you do have spells, and that is more useful than not spells. So we're still feeling the full effects of the curse. I will see this through. I know what to do. He has a whole 64 hit points, and no is mistakes. not in our group. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, wait, she's not technically in our group? What's going on? But she is. Everything is okay. There's a bear-like tree in here. That's bad news for us. But right side, what we can do? I am prepared. Is buff. We do have some spells we can cast. I mean, it's not a lot of spells, mind you, but it might be enough. Time has come. We even have Searing Light. We'll be able to hit things with some spells. And she can cast her rays. That's the other thing. That might be some good damage, in theory. Losing my temper. No one stands in my way. Okay. Let's go see if we can kill this thing. God. The exhausted defenders of the trading post shout with relief recognizing you. Your Highness, Keston looks mortally tired, but his usually gloomy face is bright with joy. I knew you'd return, and right on time, too. Right, Jod remarks grumpily, but his eyes are shining with joy. I'm so exhausted from trying to talk sense into these simpletons while you were gone. Some of them just scatter, others try to act like heroes, there's no order at all. I'm here to help. Whoever's attacking you is there as good as dead. We want to wait, there they are. Alright, Your Highness, together we'll burn the tails off these vermin. It's the stag lord. If it isn't my greatest mistake, I was sitting in my fortress and drinking when I should have come here and burned the damn trading post to the ground, along with everyone inside, on the very day you appeared in the stolen lands. A tall figure in a horned helmet towers behind the bandit's backs, walks slowly towards you. You killed her, right? My dream? You do realize you've been dead a long time. Dead? So what? I have my memories. I have my gang. I have two hands to draw a bow. Nothing is stopping me from conquering these lands as I've done before. Your dream? Are you talking about Nerissa? Nerissa? I didn't even know her name. She'd come to me in dreams, and I only knew her as my dream. The bandit's crude speech changes imperceptibly. She manipulated you. Accept it and rest in peace, Shadow. She did. So what? You can't imagine what I was before she came to me. She gave me purpose. She awakened me. 
I cast aside the pathetic scumbag I used to call my father. I gathered my people, I cut the throats of a dozen other chiefs, and brought these lands to heal. I wanted to call her my queen. My dream that never came true. I'm glad I've returned to life, so now I can get revenge on her murderer. Prepare to die a long and painful death, scum. You're on, Stag Lord. Wait, where'd you go? Should do it. <laughs> Wait, where is he? Oh, it's a bandit shadow on that side too. We go help these guys it. out. Strike with all your might. Or not. Come on, get out of there. We won't falter. We're winning, maybe. Hey, there's the Staglers back there. Reinforcements. Where are you, brother? Demon. Strike as one. This will hurt. Let's Out try this. My way. <laughs> Wait, are these undead? <laughs> they are not undead. What else do I have left for spells? This could kill my own people. Ooh, we have tar. What do you have for spells that I can see? Acid splash. Nothing really good. Nothing that'll help me get rid of all the, uh... Annoyance that we're facing. Uh, we need to heal. We need to move a little bit. Cared. Our monk needs to tank for a bit. What do we got left for our wizard? These aren't undead. Good to know. We don't have a lot of spells left here. Ooh, hang on. No, he fell. That's kind of bad news. This is really hard. Yeah, let's quick load. We need to be ready for that, uh, Stag Lord to get into this fight. Holy crap, though. This curse is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. It's really brutal. Alright, let's do this again. You 
kill her if dead. That's way worse this time. Where did that thing come from? Let's just kill the Cycler first. Said, hello, we got some more red scrolls, so. I was just to fight off like 800 of these guys. Swing it or not swing it. Maybe Cleave would be good for this. Or. Let's get some more muscle in this fight. We can't use any of these scrolls because both of our casters are currently incapacitated. But we can use some potions, maybe. Yes, one potion down. Could use another one right away, though. more potions into him. His whole goal is to drink potions now. Guy, please, so he stops shooting at us with arrows. Do I have any more potions lying around? I do one more. Any other healing potions at all? Any other good potions at all? Actually, a potion of displacement might help a lot. I wonder if my weapons are cursed as well. Forward. 
great there's still more of them coming. I won't give up. We can do it. A clean strike. Come on, heal, and also she can heal too. Or she had a key points. She is completely out of key points. Nice. This was a tough fight. It brought down one of our wyverns. Are we out of combat? Yay! We won! Hey, the Staglord actually had a loot. Is it the same loot as he had at the beginning? No, it's a bit better. Okay. God, we, we helped you, bud. Oleg catches his breath. Guess you fought them off, your highness. The fight seems to have done you good. Forgive my frankness, but when you got here, you were looking like the grave, but now you seem alright. You do feel a surge of energy. Your curse hurts you and your followers more and more. The more trouble haunts your kingdom. Or sorry, the more trouble haunts your kingdom. You've lessened its power by restoring peace of the trading posts and environs. Oleg, how are you holding up? Staying brave? We must, your highness. Looks like there aren't any more of these bottom-feeding bandits in the area. If one wanders in here, I'll handle it myself. When you scooch rats and roaches, you need to destroy their nests, not run after separate beasts. Alright, capital it is. We'll do, your highness. I'll get your guard there safe and sound. We'll sound ready for your orders. Hey, it's less bad. The curse has gone down a little bit. Not by much, but some. I won't be halted. Come, Peridot Wyvern. We will rest and then continue on our way. We're feeling a little bit better. And we do have one actual corpse, but we'll, uh... Actually, we can resurrect him right now. We do have scrolls for that sort of thing. They are where? Huh? Oh. I need to scroll up. That's why I couldn't find them. There they are. Nope, that's not it. That's it. Bloop. Back to life. Anything good? Nope. Just the guards. Uh, we need to go back to the capital. We're gonna rest and then continue on our way. Holy crap. This has been a nightmare and a half. I'm just gonna quickly set this to do something. Then we'll fight off the next thing.